Welcome back everyone to potentially the final BTEP video on F23. We're finishing the season off with Nottingham Forest. Um, since we were last here, we've had some pretty good results. We did lose our first game after the FA Cup game against Plymouth 3-2. Just disappointing, but you can see one year's been bagging goals uh, quite a bit in February. We did go out to the FA Cup, losing 2-1 to Fulham. Uh, we're going to draw with Leicester, who of course were challenging for the title with or promotion with. Uh, but pretty good run of form. We did lose again to Sunderland, and we just lost our last game to Blackpool. Um, but you can see you can see all the results in there. Tyler one you did go off injured in that last game as well. His season is virtually over. Um, 47 goals, 7 assists in 47 appearances for him. Incredible season. Uh, so we're looking for like, Doku to perhaps step on a little bit more. The Championship, though, is in a very interesting position. If we go to the league table, with two points behind Bournemouth, one point ahead of Leicester, there's three points separating the top two with two games left. Bournemouth are playing Stoke in 11th place. We are playing West Brom down in 19th place. And Leicester are playing 17th place Swansea. And then on the final day of the season, we play Luton. Bournemouth play Sheffield United, who uh, can't get into playoffs now, but still doing pretty decent. Uh, Leicester playing our former team, Wigan, uh, who are battling for safety as well. I personally think we win both these games. We win the league. Uh, we win both the games. We know we're definitely getting automatic promotion. Uh, this is what we're going with today. Pope, Williams, Worrell, McKenna, Richards, Ajida, Gibbs White, Johnson and Lingard, Samiento and Doku. Um, Scarpa's just come back from injury. Ferrari is suspended. Keith Carpenter, the young player, is injured. And obviously, one year is injured as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully this team is good enough to go and beat West Brom and Albion, who are struggling this season. Um, I would like a very, very big win in this game. And really, you know, stamp our mark. And we'll keep a close eye on... What is happening elsewhere as well? Let's just pause that, make sure we have everything up that we need. Let's change this one up in the top corner to the league table. Um, the scores are sort of hidden behind my head. You can just see Leicester and Swansea in there, uh, along with where are Bournemouth. They're up at the top as well. So, yeah, we'll keep an eye on them games, see how things go. Obviously, we need to win our game. That is going to be the, the crucial thing. Leicester have a very early lead there. Pats and Dakar scoring the goal. And Diang has put West Brom Jarwin ahead. Uh, it wasn't Diang, so it's Diang. It's okay, it's just Diang according to his name there. But I think that's cool. Um, but yeah, we are 1-0 down very early on. Um, pretty simple throwing routine. And we are demanding more very, very early into this game. Leicester go above us. As it stands, and we drop into the playoff places. Of course, we still do have a game left as well. It's 2-0 to Leicester. Dakar has both, so we're going to assume Leicester are going to win that game. The Cheetah's free kick is just about knocked over the bar by the keeper. Corner ball, Gibbs White to deliver. Headed clear. McKenna brings it down. That's going to be in that highlight. We're going to keep an eye on Bournemouth Stoke now, and we are going attacking. Alvaro Fernandez plays the ball in behind. Pope's going to claim that easily. Plays out to Richards. Space to run into perhaps. Sarmiento now. What can he do? The low knee. Finds McKenna. Over the top for Richards. And he will keep that in. Jules one across, but only into the hands of the goalkeeper. Who quickly looks downfield, looking to take advantage of space left by Richards. Richards over the top for Sarmiento. Goes down and the referee has given a penalty. Referee's given a penalty for that foul on Sarmiento. Brendan Johnson steps up. <laughs> Just about scores. I think the keeper gets a hand to this. I really do think the keeper gets a hand to it. We'll see even better from here. He does as well. The keeper should have saved that. He really should have saved that. Brendan Johnson has his back level. Wallace with a free kick. And uh, okay. That's an okay effort. Just why the bar? I'm so sorry. I don't know who that is. He, oh, okay. Yosu. Uh, Yokosalu. Free kick to defend again. And uh, West Brom are showing some real, you know, uh, dangerous moments here. I'm going at half time at 1 1. 
and I'm going to flash my arms and tell them I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen. This is not good enough. It's still no note to Bournemouth. Ajida, poor ball. Alvaro Fernandez kills downfield. Dyke finds Wallace. Rich is trying to get back at him. Furlong in acres of space. Cross comes in and Dyke has scored again. And it's 2-1. And um, we are going to berate the players here. This is not good enough when we need it the most. I, uh, well. We're going to have to go and make some changes here, I think. Um, Nico Williams is a bit tired. He's going to come off there. Oof. We're going to bring on Emmanuel Dennis for Doku. Doku hasn't had uh, the performance we need. He was taking off some poor performing plays. Barola comes on for McKenna. Uh, Samiento goes off for Josh Bowler, who has put in a transfer request as well. Because um, he hasn't been playing enough. And fair enough for him, he hasn't been playing enough. Let's demand more once again. Put pressure on them players that have just come on. Um, I mean, we're obviously not performing pressure. Look at the statistics in this game. It is not good enough. Corner ball. Perola's header just over the bar. And do you know, I again, counterintuitive. We're going cautious just because they're having more chances, more possession. Demand more once again. Can we get anything from this game? It doesn't look like it at the moment. Right. We've perhaps left this a bit too long. We're not playing at the back. We are just going route one here. We're going to sort of get stuck in. We're going to step up as well there. And we are going to... What are we going to do? We've taken off Jesse Lingard from Mighton. Mighton going up top as well as Poacher. 5-10. So, yeah, he's not really going to be a target man. Neither is Dennis. We're taking a risk. We're just going long ball now. We need to find a goal. Bournemouth have taken the lead as well. So, if we can't find a winner, I think that's the lead title. Hope's over. Gibbs White loses the ball. He takes far too long with his people forward. Richard wins it back. We've got three minutes plus stoppage time to find at least a goal. Mighton, Aurier, space to run into perhaps. A poor ball again. Gibbs White, can he do something better this time? Dennis scores 2 2. Don't celebrate, grab that fucking ball. Language, sorry. So it's 2-2. Two, two. We've got three minutes plus stop of time to find a winner. And really keep us in the hunt and this highlight straight from kickoff. West Brom knocking it around at the back. O'Shea looks forward. Richards gets there. Dennis Bowler. Out for Aurier. Johnson. My turn. He's hit the post and Dennis can't get there. Oh, Richards. Oh. That was a massive chance. Ori, once again. Looks in behind. Johnson might have been offside. He's not. We've got a corner. Head it clear. Throw in. Come on. Dyke, half attacks potentially on there. Mighton, can he bring that down? He can. Beats his man. It's a great block. And it wasn't a good ball back in, but he get it scrambled clear. And now counter attack is on. It's Dowell. We do win it back, and we need to get it forward. We've got five additional minutes to find that winner. Dyke is miles offside. Let's encourage. If we don't find a winner, we are out of the hunt for the league title and we're not going to.
So, final day of the season, it's must win and I hope that Leicester drop points. We cannot win the league title now. Bournemouth have been promoted back to the Premier League. We've got Pope, Williams, Warren, McKenna, Richards, Ajida, Scarpa, Johnson, Lingard, Sarmiento and Doku. The one he comes back onto the bench, it's not recommended to be playing at all. Um, but if we need a goal, we may have to bring him on. Um, we're just going to tell them to enjoy themselves. I, I'm deflated after that last game. I really am deflated after that game. Uh, oh, you're in the yellow this time. We have no pressure, really. Pressure is on Leicester to win. Worrell's header. Adebayo wins it. Morris to Campbell. And are we really going to go 1-0 down inside the first minute here? Yes, we are. Oh dear, why have we collapsed late season like this? Literally the last three games of the season. We win all three, we win the league. And we've lost one, drawn one, and now we're behind early on in this one. Best to have taken the lead anyway, so... It doesn't matter. I don't think we're going to get any favours from Wigan whatsoever. We can just let this game play out. Oh, I'm so annoyed we couldn't get it resorted in that last game. Williams. Sarmiento pulls one back. 1-1. One, one. We really need Wigan to score an equaliser just to give me any sort of, you know, hope. So sort of bring that energy back because, yeah, do no Leicester. There we go. Four no Leicester. That was quick. Very, very quick. We're going to be in the playoffs. As we score, one of the scrappiest goals you will ever see, Brennan Johnson, uh, from a deflection from the goalkeeper, to make it 2-1 to Forrest. And I don't quite know how teams, you know, manage to get themselves motivated. Actually, yes, we'd have had a full week in real life between these two games instead of, you know, the 5-10 minutes that I've had instead but this is just so deflating we tried a inventive free kick it didn't work royal brings it forward nobody wants to tackle a royal and we just uh, just sort of wait for this game to finish now Campbell out for Bell. It's been a long highlight, so there's going to be a goal at the end of this. Here's Adebayo, and there's 2-2. Two -two. I just I don't care, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, just simple stuff. And I don't even pack this team to get it done in the playoffs, that's the thing. The form that we're finishing this season on, even if we win this game, we just crumble when it matters the most. So I just, I don't see how we can go up in the playoffs. Burnley, Blackburn and QPR currently joining us in the playoffs. I'm fresh in my arms once again until I'm far from pleased. And uh, how's Sunderland doing? They're losing to Lincoln. There's a chance Sunderland can get into the playoffs. And I think they've done the double over us this season as well. Smith brings it forward. And Richards is going to get himself sent off. Oh my god.
Perova's coming off a Doku. He's going left back. So that's now Richard suspended for the start of the playoffs. Let's just go and make some changes. But like I say, it just doesn't matter whatsoever. Aurier on, Achida off, Scarpa off, uh, God knows who. So we can pull two back, but it's 5 2 to Leicester. I mean, we're going to, we're never really going to do much worthy in that one. Dowell looks to bring it forward and potentially find a winner for Luton here against our 10 men at Forest side. Pots downfield, Gibbs White picks it up, drives forward, hits one. Bournemouth are going to win the league as well. They are currently 1 1. Freeman's corner off the post, and we clear out. And I thought that was going to be the winner. And the hat trick for Adebayo then. Um, 6 2 now to Leicester. So if Bournemouth do actually concede late on, Leicester will win this league. There's the winner. We saw that coming a million miles away. This team has just crumbled at the end of the season. Absolutely crumbled. And I am furious with it. Absolutely. <sighs> Throwing a water bottle. And we've got to focus on playoffs now. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for them. So we've played the uh, first leg of the playoffs. It was 0-0 no -no against QPR. It's a good job I didn't do that on camera because it was pretty damn boring. Um, if we manage to get through this game, we will play Blackburn in the final for promotion. And in the playoffs, do we have away goals? No, just extra time and penalties if needed. So you're getting at least three games in this game, maybe four uh, in this video. Sorry, maybe four if we can go through. Uh, Pope Williams, Warrell, Parola, Richards, Broilert, Scarpa, Dennis, Lingard, Doku, and Awanyi is our starting 11 today. Um, we need to see a marked improvement. We really do. We've gone four games now without a win. And I am going to tell them that we have to win our home games. No excuses. And, uh, yeah, we're putting pressure on them. They say we are at home. To play off semi-final, we need a good game. We need to get into that final at Wembley. But chair with the free kick towards the back post. And we're giving away a penalty. For God's sake. What is wrong with this team? Can Pope save the penalty? It's Tyler Richards. It's 1-0. Mm. Inside 10 minutes and we just throw it away. We now need to come from behind. And uh, like we just saw, if it's a draw, we have extra time. And that's the last thing you really want before you potentially go into a final. We've got 24 hours less rest as well. But at this rate, we are not going to, it's not going to make much difference. We're 2 0 down. And um, this is nearly, this is done. This is done. How simple is this? absolute embarrassment this team has been this past month and uh, this is this is over <sighs> Williams is off 
Froyler's off. Dennis is off. Oops, that's not Dennis. I mean, I just performances just shocking all around. Brennan Johnson's coming on as well. We've got 45 minutes to score three goals. Or at least two goals for extra time, but we haven't seen a single attacking highlight from us yet. And Hernandez, Richards now on the ball. All done by Doku to win it back. Richards doesn't really have any support ahead of him. Wins that second header. Doku looks forward again, cleared out. Scarpa to Johnson to Doku. Switches play for Aurier. Samiento. Good ball forward. Scarpa. Good save. Good, good save from the goalkeeper. Corner comes in and head straight to his hands. <sighs> I cannot believe we have absolutely bottled this. We've got a free kick. I am making change regardless. Bunny is coming off uh, Alex Mighton. I mean, what else do we do? We can't make any. We've got any events. We've got to hold five changes, so. Scarpa's ball in. Perola's header over the bar. Johnson wins it back, but can't get onto the ball. Perola. Finds Doku, crosses, and he scored. What a goal that is! It was meant to be a cross. I think he was meant. I don't think he meant this. Did he mean this? No, it's a cross, and he's just got the keeper out, and he's it's clipped the post and gone in. What a goal that is from Doku. Why are we looking at a tight offside? I... Okay. Um, I'm what a goal that is. Corner ball, Scarpa. Roller, it's 2-2! Two -two. And sometimes all it takes is that moment of magic that we just saw from Doku and it's, it's fired the team up and we are well and truly back in this. Johansson missed his header, Parola gets in to nod home, it's 2-2 two -two and we are well and truly back in this game. I probably shouldn't still be on very attack, we're going to go balanced. Dickey with a free kick short to Bradley. Ori steps in, wins the ball back, finds Samiento, can't find a ball through. Ajida. Sarmiento looks for Might and he's miles offside. Got 12 minutes plus stoppage time to avoid extra time. Johnson looks forward, intercepted. Balogun clears downfield. Johnson can't get on there. Hernandez is in. Hernandez is in and Pope pushes it over. Chair now with the corner. We've been so poor at defending corners. It'd just be fitting if the end of our season with a corner, wouldn't it? But he's had a clear Willock. Let's bring it inside. Ajida wins it back and just clears out. That's perfectly fine there. Bradley's throw in. QPR looking to come back into this game now. And uh, they've sort of taken control recently. Chair brings it down. Cleared out. And Pope, at his second attempt, claims the ball. We're going cautious just because QPR are coming back into this game. But this highlight isn't over. Aurier chips one forward. Mighton's not going to get anywhere near that. Dykes to Bradley to Raksaki. Spins his man. And it's 3-2 to QPR. And we're back very attacking once again. He just he just spins his man far too easily here. And it's very, very poor from Pope, but we know that from the goalkeepers in this game. 
we're going to encourage once again can we get a late equalizer no it doesn't look season it's over five games without a win at the end of the season the scene is going from having a chance at the title to crashing out in the semi-finals of the playoffs sarmiento maybe not we have a goal mighton Wow, last few seconds of the game, and I, I, I don't want extra time, but we have got extra time. Here is me lamenting everything, being, oh, negative, you know, so pessimistic, we're out, we're out. Samiento drills it across, Meister stays on side, and uh, taps home from close range with what is the final moment of the game. I'm going to tell them I'm not happy with that performance, though. Um, we do have another change, and Finbeck is going to come on for Warhol. And now we are in check time. We're going to stay very attacking because, uh, well, why not? We have absolutely nothing to lose now. Well, we did. We've got everything to lose. But we've been better while playing like this. And Gida hits one. It's blocked. Or a keep pushes it wide for a corner ball. Yeah, every time we've been on this very attacking in this game, we have looked the better teams. The corner comes in. The end claims, though. Did we add the stay on feet we do have now? We come towards half time in extra time, but there's a corner to defend. Chair to deliver. And Balogun should have scored. He should have scored there. Half time in extra time. We're going to just encourage once more. We don't have any more changes to make. PPR do have changes to make. Um, that may help them freshen up. We have five minutes to play. We're going to get penalties, aren't we? We are going to get penalties. Oh, no. We'll bring Doko, Vegeta, Johnson, Sarmiento, Mighton, Richards, Aurier. Corolla, Pope, and then Finn back just because he's anxious. I don't want him to be taking an early penalty. Um, I'm going to tell them to relax, pick the spot. And here we go for the penalty shootout. Dykes first for QPR. Scores straight down the middle. Gustavo Scarpa, who's been fantastic this season for us. Scores also keep goes the right way, but we find the back of the net. Field sends the keep the wrong way. Two one QPR. Doku, who has been poor since signing, he's been a very poor signing. Scores his penalty though. Keeps it to a piece from two penalties each. Kelman against Pope. Pope doesn't die far enough, it's 3-2. It's a good penalty, actually. That's a bit harsh on him there. It was right in the bottom corner. A G there. It's saved. And Chair to make it 4-2. It's missed. Chair misses and puts it wide. And we've been given a lifeline here. Brennan Johnson has to score this. He does. He rolls it into the bottom corner. We're back at 3-3 from four penalties each. I was once again defeated then. I, I'd given up. Right, Saki, who scored the third goal, scores this penalty as well. It's 4-3. Sarmiento, the low knee, must score. And he does just... 4-4, four, four. Luke Amos. Go on, Pope. Oh, bottom corner. I hate taking the second penalty. I really do hate being second. Mighton, the young American striker. 22 years old. Mighton steps up. Said to keep it on way. It's 5-5. Five, five. Bradley. Pope saves, what a save that is from Nick Pope. 
Wonderful save to tip that over the bar. Richards to put us into the playoff final. Omar Richards, he's hit the post. No, oh, we got to take these chances. Dicky scores. Serge Aurier. It's a terrible penalty. And QPR progress to the playoff finals. And this series ends poorly. Uh, do you want to progress a couple of days? See if we are potentially in trouble with our job um but yeah series that started as manchester united where we got sacked wigan where we dropped out of playoffs the nightgun forest where we threw away any chance of the league title to um ends up throwing away the boku was the best signing oh dear we've not made some very good signings have we I don't want to see any of this. I definitely don't want to see the manager timeline. Uh, supporter profile update. Family's gone down. Casuals got up. I, I was expecting the board meeting from the uh, supporters. But they're going to see, actually. They're, they're happy with how things have gone. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be the end of this beta save we finished with 53 wins uh sorry 46 wins from 102 games 45 percent overall um yeah you can see the stats there exactly 700 days in game uh that is the end of the beta save i know this has been a long video i do appreciate you sticking by to watch this massive bottle job uh as of tomorrow for buxton we're here with a long-term save that's going to hopefully going to span the lifetime of FM23. Um, thank you very much for watching this beta save. Uh, the the views have been absolutely incredible. Some of the best videos I've ever had on the channel. So thank you so so much for tuning in to watch these. I really do appreciate it um, more than you know. And I don't do these for the views. Personally, I do it because I love Football Manager. But knowing that you people watch it with me and enjoy it with me. Um, it brings me a bit of joy inside. It really, really does. So thank you so, so much. We'll see you tomorrow for the full release. Bye-bye.